Shulchan, it's clear there's more than just the nice thing to do is to say thank you when someone helps you. It's part and parcel of what it really means to be human and what it really means to be a uh, healthy human being is to have the sense of acknowledgement that, you, that, that we're not self-made people, that there are those that did pay prices that helped us get where we are today. There are people who um, shaped our lives. There are people who did different things, small little things or big things that made a big difference. Take, for example, a simple uh, little story, a very moving story. I always mention it because it's very touching. You have in the beginning of Exodus, the book of Exodus, where Moses, of course, has to be put into a basket on the River Nile because Pharaoh had decreed that all the boys, all male children, should be killed. So Yechevet, his mother, put him in a waterproof basket at the edge of the river. But knowing that you know, a child, a baby, has to be taken care of, so she would send her uh, daughter, Miriam, the oldest daughter, Moses' oldest sister, to watch. And there's a very touching verse where the Torah speaks about how she stood by quietly watching her brother. And because of that, years later she would be rewarded for that. Because the biggest moments in history are things that are undramatic. Those little moments where your older sister or your older brother or your mother or father or someone else was there for you when you didn't even know about it. They watched over you. They cared over you. And every parent knows that most of our dedication to our children are things that not, are not, not going to be videotaped and they're not documented and they're so numerous and they're so silent in a way. They happen in times in the middle of the night when you wake up and you're just with a child that may be crying, afraid, or, or not well. It may be and how you cradle and nurture your child just in play. It's not always on a birthday or on a special moment or we're doing something. It's sometimes the small, very non-glitzy and non-glamorous moments. And that's the ones that we often forget. The thank yous to say to people over the things, not when they did necessarily the biggest thing to save your life, but the small things, the small things. And you see this a consistent component, as I said, not just the right thing to do because it shows that you are acknowledging that you were helped and you were, you're not a self-made person, but as we, as we shall discuss, it gets into the heart and soul of what really makes us a healthy human being. Because here's the question. It's true the studies show that it definitely helps people in a very immediate way. People expressing gratitude, having a gratitude, let's say, journal, where they write down things that they're grateful for, whether it's grateful to God, whether it's grateful to others, whether it's grateful to a situation. Definitely that consciousness and that focus on it creates positive energy. Let's be honest. When you're grateful, it just creates positive energy. When you're bitter and, and, and have grievances and you're angry, it's negative energy. How could that not have an impact on you?